high school. We used to go to shows a lot at this place called Coos Cafe in Santa Ana. All the kids from our high school and around here would go. I met Lee there. He had long hair at the time and my hair was short and I was making fun of him for his hair being long. And then from there we just became best friends and then me and him started a band called The Noise. We didn't practice, we didn't have songs. We just started fires, broke on his head. We would break each stuff other's and head. get kicked out. And then Brian had a store and we're like, wow, you could be a cool guy yeah. and own a record store. Oh. Sean joined Makeup Party. When he went away to college and then when he came home from college. We needed to release our own music, so we started our own label to release our first 7-inch uh, as this group. We started doing cassettes after our friends AM, who were a band from around here, put out a cassette and the sound quality was super good and the packaging was great and it just uh, turned into something bigger than we ever expected. LA and San Francisco have lots of record stores and Orange County only has a few record stores. And plus, like, we've been selling stuff on our label for three years and I was confident in my collection of records and even more confident in Brian's collection of records that we had the capabilities to open a really awesome store. We know what's good and what we like that makes a good record store and as long as we stick to that, everyone should be happy because, I don't know, just having a comfortable atmosphere to shop for records and not judging anybody about what they buy. Like I'm open to so much music. When people actually visit the store, it's kind of their secret place, you know, where they go, and it's kind of their, mis their mistress of sorts, you know what I mean? That's why I like, I like to have a store that actually has random weirdness that the people are actually looking for and actually find it here. You see, you see the way they laugh and look at us, you know, like, I can't believe you have this. Records and music aren't an exclusive type of uh, scene. Everybody loves music. Even people who aren't totally into music, you know, it still has some sort of connection with them. And the people who come here are usually are really into music, so there's a strong connection between them and the sounds being put off of these records. And then so it's like these weird connections all the time. Almost every day I, I just, I turn someone onto something or someone turns something onto me. No control of it. It just goes wild for a while. It could have been that nobody cared, nobody bought them, and that was it. But Luckily, there were a couple kids who really liked it, and it grew into more and more kids. And if it wasn't for them, then it wouldn't even matter that we were making all these tapes. It would matter to us. We would still be making them, but it would just be like me and Lee listening yeah. to them in the van. And ultimately, like that's what it's about. It's about. Yeah. Like, I, I want people to hear it because that's what I mean. Yeah, I could just take the record and dub and, and make a tape, but. It's like, now I want to make my favorite record at the time, Burger. So it's like, I'm related to this great music for like. Forever. Uh, yeah, forever. This is just, I don't know, it's, it's just funny. It's, I think, I don't know, I just think it's cool. Our hair is rock and roll. It's besides our life and where we put all our energies and our friends put a lot of energies into it to create, you know, this big community, like the neighborhood. But for us, like, it's just rock and roll. Like, to be able to touch rock and roll, I don't know, it's like religion or something, but it's our way of spreading the gospel. We're burger boys and burger girls and some burger men and some burger women too. And, but most of them are just rock and rollers. Like people that love rock and roll love burger because it's just real. We try to be uninhibited, if, even though like we're square sometimes. But it's not a whole bunch of five course meals. Like five course in one. And yeah, we're trying band, to make the band. burger the same thing. Just one place where you can go and hear awesome music that you've never heard before or that's been lost to time. Yeah, and uh, sometimes, uh, like, uh, I'll just be working on stuff or just looking at everything we're doing and it's amazing to me that we've made something so special and, I don't know, I've spent my whole life not just making ourselves, books but and other making people zines identify and making with. comic yeah. books and doing all this stuff and nobody cared about it. It was fun for me and I, you know, I'll still keep doing stuff for us. But life, it feels but good to be liked or whatever, yeah, accepted, because like you are saying, people other scenes or whatever seem like to push you out it's exclusive and we've always just wanted to be liked or whatever burger is a bubble like where reality is really sad and depressing i mean if we just focus not to be like so narcissistic or whatever but like on ourselves like burger and then like oh life's good yeah as long as we stay in our bubble yeah, it's the all good bubble. <laughs> so just don't pop a bubble people <laughs> let us live crazy life.
me and Lee were talking about success being able to eat whatever you want. Yeah. Uh, like, we were like, let's go to yeah. my seals and get a steak right now. Yeah, right, and then yeah. that, that's success, you know? Yeah. And not having to worry, like, oh, my God, it's $20 for a steak. It'd be nice to have a home, like a house. That I've never lived in a house proper, but I've spent time in homes. I don't know, burgers, it's a joke, but it's, it's more than a joke. <laughs> yeah. It's our life. Our life is a joke. Yeah. There you go. We can end like that. <laughs> <laughs> Fake laughter. Ha, ha.